Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the uh, season three premiere of the long, almost forgotten, but return show, Scream. Uh, now it is called Scream Resurrection. This is the third season of the series, but it is a uh, sort of a soft reboot of the show because it doesn't follow the first two seasons. It's a brand new setting, brand new characters, brand new cat and mouse game, and same old ghost face. Now, before I begin, of course, please be warned, I'm going to be re reviewing the first two episodes of this six-episode event. Uh, the first two episodes dropped last night when the show premiered. I only finally was able to watch them now. I was busy working last night, so I was able to watch them tonight, and then I was pretty busy tonight working as well, so I'll catch the next two episodes, hopefully tomorrow. So, spoilers from here on out. You have been warned. Let's jump into it. First, let me say right off the bat, I am delighted to see Ghostface back on the screen after all these years. Last time we would have seen him would have been would have been um, Scream 4, which was about, uh, oh my god, eight years ago already. Man, where does the time go? Yeah, eight years it's been already. Wow. Yeah, eight years uh, since we've seen Ghostface on the big screen, or any screen for that matter, and now he's back. Roger L. Jackson is voicing the character once again, and he's done a terrific job. I look forward to seeing his performance throughout the rest of the season. We've got a great group of uh, kids and characters so far. We have kind of our own upgraded new version of the Breakfast Club, or as they humorously called themselves, the Dead Fist Club. <laughs> I liked that. And you know, they had kids from like all walks of life and different cliques and backgrounds all grouped together now thrown into this horrific scary situation you know much like the first two seasons of the show our main characters especially our lead character has some dark secrets or sketchy things about their past that they'd rather not discuss or bring to light but obviously someone hasn't forgotten and someone wants revenge and is clearly still carrying very much a grudge i like how the first two episodes eliminated our most obvious suspects in the first episode the prick football player i mean i knew he wasn't going to be the killer but i was also hoping they weren't going to suspect him. But those uh, fears were quickly uh, put to rest when the real killer actually did push him off of the balcony to his death. Uh, so that was so that was a pretty gory first kill, but a memorable one. And then our next most likely suspect, the drug dealer dropout Shane, who had a surprising level of humanity to himself when it was revealed he was caring for his sick, dying mother, which is why he was uh, stealing those drugs in the first place, but also to deal and, you know, raise money so he can give his mom a better home or a better life. But sadly, he was put down by the real killer as well, so he's obviously off of our suspect list. I think um, I think it, it's a little too obvious if it is the twin brother, Marcus, because kind of feels like since it was pointed out right away by Liv, uh, the, the love interest of our lead character, Dion, or excuse me, Dean, um, I feel like that would be a bit too obvious almost. So I don't know if it's necessarily the twin brother, but something I did love about that opening scene to the first episode is that it was extremely reminiscent of the original Scream movie with Drew Barrymore as the cute blonde answering the phone and Ghostface terrorizing her. And in this case, they kind of they kind of ch changed things up where, again, it was a cute blonde teenage girl answering the phone, but instead of her dying a horrible death, she's just spooked by some kid wearing a Ghostface costume him and he scares her with a fake knife and then he meets up with his friend or or his brother as it turned out to be and then um i loved the fact when they were talking about the hook man lives there i'm like this is going to be Tony Todd's character because I remember reading a while back he had been cast in the show in an unspecified role. And sure enough, they revealed him in his full glory. It was Tony Todd as the uh, junkyard hook man. And it looks like he definitely killed or at least severely injured uh, the poor kid uh, when he stabbed him through the head uh, with his uh, hook hand. But uh, he very well could have injured him if indeed Marcus does turn out to be the killer. So again, it remains to be seen. But I thought it was great seeing Tony Todd playing a character with a creepy hook for a hand once again after all these years. I hope he's going to be in the new uh, Candyman remake from Jordan Peele next summer. Uh, and uh, whether or not he'll play the role of Candyman 
or he'll return in some capacity remains to be seen. But it was awesome seeing him kind of play, pay homage or tribute to the role that made him so famous. Well, he was already pretty famous, but uh, the Candyman role definitely helped him a lot. So it was great seeing him in a, uh, another uh, another uh, genre of horror, in this case, the Scream TV show. So overall, these were a solid first two episodes. You know, it's only a six episode event, so they're really just going, they're just going one beat after another in terms of like uh, pacing and storytelling and character development. And I really dig that. It keeps you glued, keeps you interested in what's happening. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Right now, I'm trying to theorize and speculate as to who the killer may be. I want to share my theories with you guys. But I also don't want to inadvertently ruin anything for you either. So I'll keep my mouth shut until the big reveal, which will most likely be in the sixth episode. So guys, what did you think of the first two episodes of Scream Resurrection? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you expecting more, expecting less? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions and your feedback down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Scream Resurrection aired uh, its next two episodes earlier tonight. I will be doing my review hopefully for that tomorrow. And then uh, the final two episodes episodes air uh when uh excuse me they air wednesday night i'm sorry i re let me rephrase episodes three and four aired earlier tonight but i missed them because i was working and then the final two episodes air tomorrow night so uh it should be fun hopefully i'll be able to catch up and enjoy it with you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening thanks again for watching and of course until next time what's your favorite scary movie <laughs>